but I'm here with the Carperide W103 Pro device. Now I actually reviewed a different Carperide screen a couple months ago and I really enjoyed it. Now they sent me this new widescreen model and it has a dual Bluetooth transmission feature, which I actually really love. So it gives you another way to connect audio from your phone to the Carperide display and then to your car. The 103 Pro does wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and has some other cool features I wanna jump into it. So let's talk about hardware and design. The 103 Pro has a very widescreen display. The last screen I had was more 16 by nine. This is like, I don't know, very cinematic widescreen, but I actually find I prefer this layout, especially when I'm on this. This is kind of one of the main CarPlay screens. So if I have directions, I'm playing a podcast and maybe I have an upcoming calendar event, I actually feel like I get to see a little bit more of the map in my directions and still get my podcast controls and turn by turn or maybe my next calendar event all right here. You actually get to still see more of the map while still navigating the menu or maybe adding a stop, but we'll get into the software later. On the side of the device, you actually have ports to connect a backup camera. It's a two and a half millimeter jack. You can connect this screen to an aux jack in your car using a three and a half millimeter cable. There's actually a slot for a micro SD card if you wanna play videos off of that. There's a USB-A port if you wanna actually have a wired connection to your mobile device. And, which I really appreciate, USB-C now is the power adapter. So of course it includes a car adapter for power. You just plug that down here in the car and it has USB-C on the other side. But if you don't wanna take up a whole car power adapter, you can actually get something like the Anchor dual USB-C port car adapter. Take one and go to the CarPride screen and then you still have another port for something like a wireless MagSafe charger like the Belkin or other third party ones like I have here. Links in the description to all of that. Now, when you wanna connect this screen to your car audio, you actually have multiple options. Like I mentioned, you can use a direct aux cable from the CarPride screen down to your car's aux jack. And if you go to the transmit option, it actually has a built-in FM transmitter and it also has Bluetooth transmit. This Bluetooth transmit means it actually has a dual Bluetooth radio. So you can connect your mobile device to the CarPride screen via Bluetooth and then connect your CarPride screen to your car Bluetooth audio and it transmits from your phone all the way to the car. I actually prefer that over the aux jack connection. For one, it's one less cable from the screen down into the car, much better than an FM transmitter. And I know a lot of people from the previous video had questions about, can you do that? Well, this model is specifically made for that dual Bluetooth connection, which is really cool. One other side note, I know some people had issues actually playing audio from the other methods rather than the CarPride screen itself. And if you need to adjust that, go into the settings app on the CarPride screen then go to device speaker and toggle that off. If you had audio coming from the speaker and not from like the FM transmitter or the aux jack, just make sure that toggle is off. The 103 Pro also has an ambient light sensor, so it'll adjust the screen brightness during the day. And of course, CarPlay goes into night mode when it's sunset. And you can also adjust the volume if you have the aux jack out or Bluetooth transmitter here. And kind of a nice analog and digital clock because you have such a wide screen, you have the app icons plus the clock. So jumping into the software, because it's wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, I can actually have multiple devices paired with this CarPride screen and then swap between them in just a tap. You'll see I actually have the CarPlay symbol and the Android Auto symbol up here. And if I tap the Bluetooth icon above that, you'll actually see multiple devices. And you'll see here I can choose which device I want phone calls to come from, which device I have music come from, and which device is powering the wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. If I wanna to switch to a different device, I can literally just select the Android Auto or CarPlay and it will automatically switch to that device powering the screen. Again, I'll tap the CarPlay for my iPhone and it jumps right to that. This is great if you're on a long road trip like I was on recently, check out the video link above because I would talk about the tech that I brought on a 2,600 mile road trip with me and my family. But if you have multiple iPhones, maybe you and your partners here in the car, you can swap between which one powers the CarPlay screen in just a tap. It's also great because a lot of times the car Bluetooth system can be annoying to switch which device is priority, delete old devices. Now you can just connect one device to your car Bluetooth, namely the CarPlay screen itself, and then manage all the devices from this screen rather than your built-in car entertainment system if that's what you wanna call this thing. Again, because it has that dual Bluetooth transmitter feature, you can also do things like apply an EQ to the music or podcast that you're sending from your phone all the way to the car. So that's built in right there to the CarPride device. And another cool feature you don't get with CarPlay by itself is you can actually airplay videos directly to this screen. There's actually a Wi-Fi network that the CarPride puts off. You connect to it from your phone and you'll actually see the CarPride device show up as kind of like an Apple TV. Now I can actually airplay videos to the car ride screen if I'm sitting parked. Don't do it while you drive, but you could sit, park, maybe eat something in the car and watch a YouTube video right here on the screen. By the way, adding your iPhone or Android device to the car ride screen is super easy. Just go into the Bluetooth settings on your device. You'll see the car ride down there at the bottom. It pairs very quickly and then it just jumps right into CarPlay. 
But again, on the widescreen of the 103 Pro, I do really like the ability to see just more stuff. I get to see a lot more of the map, plus I can see a calendar event, whatever media was now playing, and my next turn-by-turn -turn direction. Also really hoping in the next version of CarPlay that you'll be able to navigate chapters of a podcast here in the Apple Podcast app. That is something the Pocket Cast app does very well on CarPlay. When you need to adjust some settings on the CarPride device and you're in the CarPlay screen, you do just go to the app menu now. Before there used to be this like floating home button on the last version of a CarPride device, so I like this better. Just go to the Car Home app here on the device and now you're back to the CarPride main screen. To get back into CarPlay, you just simply tap the little play button up here above the analog clock. Finally, when it comes to responsiveness of the 103 Pro, as you can see, it's a capacitive touchscreen. Now I am using this with wireless CarPlay. You might get a little better response if you use a hardwired cable, but remember your iPhone is actually mirroring a display basically to this one and controlling it wirelessly. Now, if you start recording a video on your iPhone while it's also running CarPlay, it's going to become way less responsive. And so if you're doing that, it might be because your phone is doing something processor intensive, like capturing a video. But overall, I found the touchscreen very smooth. I can jump into maps. I can do things like add a stop. And as you can see, very responsive, even typing. Here, I'll even type a little bit on the screen. And there you have it. Responsiveness, especially when driving, is really good. I've enjoyed using this device. Also, briefly, when it comes to mounting, you have several options right in the box. You can, of course, suction cup it to the glass windshield. I actually used a suction cup here on a hard part of my dash, and this is kind of the perfect angle. Many of the arms that comes with the carp ride or that you can buy separately can extend and pivot, and they're all powered by a ball joint, which means you can move it very seamlessly in many directions once you mount it. Now, I also was using this guy. This is the CD adapter that will also hold the screen. You actually slide it into your CD player, if you have one of those in your car, and then the screen can hold right here. I did find it was sturdy. It never fell off, but it does bounce around a lot because it's being held out pretty far with this adapter. So if you want a more secure, doesn't bounce around screen, either mount it to the glass windshield or use the suction cup to put it on your dash. Again, it comes with multiple adhesive options right in the box, and you can get some additional adapters on the CarPride website. So overall, that's the CarPride 103 Pro device. There'll be a link to this down in the video description and I have a discount code down there, BEARDFM, if you want to pick one of these up. Again, this has the dual Bluetooth transmission. That's unique to this CarPride device, the 103 Pro. I really enjoyed it being able to Bluetooth to this and then this to the car. I found the audio quality is much better. I don't have to deal with an aux cable or FM transmitter, which is really nice. But if you want to check my review of the other CarPride screen, check that out above. The link is also in the description. And if you want to learn about the tech that I use on a 2600 mile road trip with my family, I'll put that video and another great one right over here.